Welcome back to another video here at KL Tech Videos. Today, I'm going to show you Sterling PDF or Sterling Tools. This is a powerful self-hosted PDF editor. You can use this to host a Swiss Army knife of different tools, functions, and tasks that you can use to modify, enhance, split, join, organize, everything to do with PDFs. So without further ado, let's jump in. The features of this self-hosted application are second to none. View and modify, fully interactive, merge, split PDFs, reorganize the pages, remove pages, scale them, convert them into images and from images, add and remove passwords, set permissions, add watermarks, sign, redact. The list is endless. It just goes on and on and on. This is one of those tools that you need in your Swiss Army knife of self-hosted servers and home labs. So let's see how we can install this into our Docker environment. Now, as you may be aware, on this channel, we like to bind mount all our directories that are in our containers where possible into Windows because we run our server on Windows. So we're going to be doing that now. As you can see in the compose file of Sterling PDF, we have four volumes, one, two, three, four, yeah, four volumes, one for training data, one for extra config files, one for custom files, and one for logs. So we're going to start off by getting these directories set up in our Windows Docker stuff directory, where we create directories for our other projects. So let's do that again. So we'll do training data. We'll do extra configs. custom files, and logs. I see, I like to buy them out these so they're easier to access. And you'll come across projects over time where you want easier access to the directories that the containers use. You can't do this for everything. For example, Postgres on Windows, for, for some reason, requires you to have a Docker volume for that. Um, but there are workarounds, and you'll get to know those little things uh, as we go on in our videos. Now we've enabled those directories, let's map them. So if we go back to training data, copy the directory. Ah, and there is our bind mounted directories. Oh, put training data in the wrong place. Look out for that guys. That is easier than you would believe. And config files. need to go there. Now in our compose file, uh, we're going to change a few things and I've added a few things to the compose file, which I'll explain now. So as you know, we have created our bind mounts. The other thing we're going to change is the port because I have a service running on 8080. So we're going to change this to something random like 9666. As long as you don't change anything to the right of the colon there, you'll be absolutely fine. Also, Docker environment variable wise, if you want to enable a login page for your PDF Sterling, um, you need to enable the following Docker environmental. Now, if you want a login screen, then all you have to do is enable the following EVs. Docker enable security to true. Security enable login to true. Now, if you don't want a login screen, just set these to false. Additionally, if you set these to true, you can also set your initial username and password just by uncommenting uh, these EVs and then specifying just after the, exactly after the equals uh, character there uh, what you want your default uh, username and password to be. If you want to just go with the default and change the details later within the settings of PDF Sterling, just comment these out with a hashtag and the default username will be admin and the default password will be sterling but you can set them if you'd like 
using these EV options. When you're happy with everything, we're going to copy the compose file. So when we get to our dockage, and if you don't know what dockage is, it's basically an alternative to Portana. Um, it's pretty new and it's got a lot of features coming out. I do have a video that I created not too long ago, which I will link in the description below, along with this compose file so that you can just easily copy and paste. When we get into dockage, um, and if you're using just the standard Docker compose up, that's fine. Or if you're using Portana, just go in there. Something that you will know that I've added um, to the compose file, and I'll put all this in the description below for you so it's easy to copy and paste, is uh, we're going to put it on its own network because on Windows occasionally you will come across IP conflicts, things like that. We just want to mitigate these issues. We'll also put deployment restrictions in place so that it can have four of the CPU cores and a, and a gig of RAM. That was the only addition that we've, we've put together on this uh, compose file. And we're ready to deploy this basically. So Dockage uh, actually is really convenient because it will save this compose file for us locally as well. And like I said, check out the video below for that. So we're gonna hit deploy. And that's Sterling deployed on our server. So we're just gonna let that run through a few of its setup processes right now. Okay, and that's deployed. It says navigate to 8080, but as we know, we've changed that to 9666. So if we click on uh, 9666, this brings us to our self-hosted instance of Sterling PDF. Now, as you remember, we did not set our own username and password in the Compose, and we're doing this directly through what is gener generated for us as the default. So that was admin and Sterling. That lets us in, and then that gives us the option then to create our user account, which I'll do. I just realized uh, the current password is actually the one I just typed in, Sterling, and save changes, submit changes. There we go. And we're in. And as you can see, this is this is so cool. Look at this. So many tools. And the the, the brilliant part is it it maintains that ethos of privacy, that self-hosted ethos where we enjoy hosting our own tools. The Information doesn't leave our server unless we want it to. Absolutely amazing. Look at this URL website to PDF. That's incredible. I've just gone onto Amazon to this uh, TP-Link router just to find a uh, manual, a PDF uh, manual to try out. Uh, if I go back up there, there it is, user guide PDF. Let's see if we can pull this into our tool. So if we copy the link to this PDF, go back to our Sterling tool. Let's say we wanted to sign um, a PDF. Choose files. Let's paste the link to that PDF online. Yep, here we go. Here's our PDF guide. And then, ah, look at this. Ah, uh, simple as that. How cool is that? Sorry there. PDF multi-tool. Oh wow, look at that. So you can just easily rotate pages around. <laughs> Absolutely genius. And, you know, there are lots of websites out there where you can do this, but that's that's giving them access to your files. Whereas this purely allows you to do all this in your own home self-hosted environment. Uh, 
that's so cool. Look at the settings you can put. Let's just encrypt this document. So password protected. Yeah. Ah, oh, what? Absolutely fantastic. Well, that's Sterling PDF. I hope you've uh, enjoyed the experience of adding more tools to your self-hosted setup and just learning new things. I hope the, the channel brings a lot of that to you. Please subscribe uh, and like this video. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks very much.